Promoter, yes, promoter Lou DiBella at the Barclays Center counting down to Friday night fights on Spike. We are topped by Amir Khan against comebacker Chris Algieri. Like to get a sense of the stakes. What are the stakes in this Khan Algieri fight, Lou DiBella? Well, it's a must win fight for Amir Khan. Um, if, he's, if his dream of a Floyd Mayweather fight is ever going to hit fruition, or you know, his dream of another huge matchup, another major, major fight here. Uh, a, a, um, you know, I think that, that Khan is in that select few at welterweight um, who can factor into a huge fight, but people have great expectations of him, and particularly against a guy like Chris. I think they expect Khan to perform well with Chris Algieri, and, and um, he needs to do that. And I think he's going to uh, throw down hard and, and try to use his speed and power to assert himself against Algeria and make a statement. You know, from Chris's standpoint, everything's at stake also, but not much to lose. There's not a lot of expectation. He's a huge underdog here. He's in his hometown, basically. He's fighting at Barclays in an arena where he won the title and he feels comfortable. Um, people are expecting Khan to win this fight, and I think that that's going to play a little bit toward Algeria's chances. I, I think it's going to be an Algerian there maybe fighting a little bit out of the box for him normally. I don't expect you to, to see a, a, a pure scientific fight from Algeria. He needs to to land some significant punches. He needs to be able to stop Khan in his tracks, to slow Khan down, and I think he's going to try to do that. He, he's got John David Jackson now in his corner. He's got a new trainer. Um, you know, I, I expect to see some different things from him, and I expect Chris to have an attitude like, you know, I'm here to win, and I'm going to win, and I have nothing to lose. Can a 30-year-old dog learn new tricks? How much can you learn from a new trainer in five months? Um, I, I, I don't think you could learn much that you didn't already know. Right. But however, in, in terms of strategy, in terms of using things that maybe you haven't used as much, or tools that you already possessed that you didn't feel comfortable um, using as weapons in the ring, I, I think you can see changes. Uh, now that being said, we're going to find out. Right. Um, and I think that like Khan is going to try to make a statement. Right. And I think the fact that Khan is going to try to make a statement may create some opportunities for Chris. I, I think this is going to be a better fight. I think this PBC on Spike show is a really, really good show. I think that the opening bat with Fortuna and Vasquez yeah, will be explosive. Yeah, let's segue right into that. For guys that have, for viewers that haven't seen either of those guys, give us the quick lowdown on Javier Fortuna and what you know about Brian Vasquez. What I know about Vasquez, he's not a uh, run backwards kind of guy. He's an aggressive fighter. Um, he believes he's winning the fight. I know that Fortuna is a tremendously powerful puncher, a uh, real dangerous offensive fighter, very exciting, always in wars. But that kind of guy who's always in wars also takes a lot of punches and, and um, takes a lot of chances and is beatable. Could be a sleeper fight then, could be a real war. I think it could okay. be a real war. I, I think that the Fortuna Vasquez fight is almost the canvas fight. I can't see any scenario where it's a boring fight. All right, that's a good plug. Uh, uh, an old joke came to mind yesterday. How do you make a million dollars in boxing? Well, you start out with two million. Uh, a guy that you did business with looks like he's exiting boxing, 50 cent. And I'm wondering, big picture, uh, is this something that you expected? Is this something that you had to tell him in the beginning, my friend, there's a large, long learning curve? Or is this something he just had to find out for himself? 50 Cent looks like he's exiting boxing. Um, maybe, but if he is, it's, you know, he, look, 50's an incredibly smart businessman. He's incredibly successful in, in a lot of other things he's doing. He's, he's spread thin right now. He's got a, a series that's doing really well. He's um, making movies. He's, you know, making music. He's, you know... He didn't also go in stupidly into the fight game and, and piss away tens of millions of dollars. Right. He didn't go into this and create a giant infrastructure and take huge office space and hire 20 people right. and lose money on on signing you know guys to huge, huge contracts that he couldn't economically support. I mean, the guy's a smart guy, so like, it's not like 50 Cent came into this and lost his shirt and is going to exit. I mean, that's, that's horseshit. Right. You know, I mean, it, he, he came in conservatively, and if he's exiting, he's going to exit on his own terms. But also, right. he's the, he didn't announce he's out of business. No. He announced her. It looks like it, but. Uh, yeah, he, didn't, he didn't announce he was right. out of business. Right. Now, let's end on that horseshit note. I like that. Okay. Horseshit. Thanks, Lou. Thanks.